So this question is a diagram question. We see the XY table, right? So specifically, more specifically, it's a table question. Um, this is an XY table, right? So all of the points provided here are ordered pairs, right? So 5, 14, 10, 24, and 15, 34, which means if we want it, we could graph it. But I'm going to read the question first and see if you know we should graph things or if there's some other uh, process that we should go through to answer this question. So the question says the table shows some values of x and their corresponding values of y. There is a linear relationship. So anytime I see the word linear relationship, my mind immediately says, oh, I need to use y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to just write that down. There's a linear relationship between x and y. Which of the following equations represents the relationship? Okay, so um, there is a quick strategy that I can use here called plug in information from the question. Right? Each of these answer choices have both x and y. The information provided by the question provides x and y's. Right? So if I, for instance, use the very first point, 5 comma 14, what that is telling me is that when x equals 5, y should equal 14. So I'm going to just try that in my answer choices. So if I replace x with 5, 1 half times 5 becomes 5 halves plus 2. And the question is, is that all equal to 14? Is 5 halves plus 2 equal to 14? No, it is not. So a is gone. Try in choice B, replace X with 5, replace Y with 14. Is 5 halves minus 2 equal to 14? No, it's not. Choice C, replace X with 5, right? Multiplying it. Replace Y with 14. Is it true that 14 equals what's 2 times 5 is 10 plus 4? 14, in fact, does equal 10 plus 4, right? So I'm liking choice C. I'm going to try choice D just to make sure, right? So replace Y with 14, replace X with 5. In that case, I get 2 times 5, which is 10. And then I'd have, does 14 equal 10 minus 4? And that is not the case. So my correct answer here is choice C. So we could have also actually done it more like we learned in school, which is um, solve for M. Right, using this y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we would find that m equals 2 if you do it that way. And then we could plug in this 5, 14, right? say x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 14. And then that way we'd solve for b. And if you did that, you would find that b is equal to 4. And again, when we put all of this into y equals mx plus b, we end up with y equals 2x plus four.